Okay, this is episode 8, so this is going to be about subs functions, uh, global variables, and local variables. So, by now, you should be practicing um, programming quite often, like every two episodes or every one. Um, if you're looking for ideas for stuff to program, then I recommend a uh, programming TI program I've made. Um, I've already made a video about it. Um, so, video and the forum kind of Reddit page. Um, will be in the description and what it does it allows you to download and upload uh, files from the reddit page you can use the program to uh, challenge yourself uh, get a challenge uh, test it out see if you can program it it shows you a solution if you can't if you can you can mark it as bonuses statistics and you can also make your own file to upload for other people to use anyway enough about that so Here's the sub. This is a special sub, just the one that gets called when the program is ex executed. So, what you can do is make another sub. So, I'm going to say sub test1. And you use open parentheses, close parentheses. You press enter, it gives you an end sub statement. So, I just put here, I put console.readline. So, what it's going to do, if I put test1 here, and I put a console dot right line here. I'm going to explain this in a sec. Uh, here. So if I do a console dot right line here. Sup. So what this is going to do, it's going to go from here. It's going to go to here. Say, oh, I need to go to this sub. So it's going to go to here then. It's going to execute whatever's in here. Get to the end sub then it's going to carry on from where it left on, so it's going to go to here and then and you'll see this when I execute it so that's that so another way for a sub is a subroutine which is what you like to use in exams um, a procedure which is most common and a method now if you're talking to a VB programmer you'd want to use the word sub when you're talking to them or procedure but if you're talking to someone that uses a different programming language you want to use the word procedure or method um, so what this sub does, it's a nice way of uh, neating up your code So and it also allows for recycling so I'll show you the recycling so if you do test1 here then it will, I don't know I just clicked extension manager maybe. Um, so if I click here it will say here sub sub here so I've like recycled this bit of code which is nice, I mean I know I could use some kind of loop or something but I've recycled it especially if this is a lot of code here it's very useful and later on I'll be showing you how to adapt it with by by ref so you can adapt the sub so you can still recycle it but you can adapt what it does um, and also nice little thing is you can collapse it like this and then you don't have to read it but yeah so I'm going to show you a local variable so from now so far we've only been using local variables so do dim a as integer then if I would say um, a is equal to 4 then I won't like it because this is a local variable it can only be used within the sub same as if I said uh, dim b as integer um, if I say b it's not going to lie I can't put it put space it'll, it'll be boolean but if I do that b is equal to 5 again it's not going to like it because this is local to this sub so even though this sub is getting called from within this sub, it still can't be accessed. Um, so what you can do is make a global variable, so dim a as integer, and also make a, another one for later on, dim b as integer. Um, so if I say a is equal to 5, it's fine. If I say here, let me get rid of this, um, b is equal to 7, it's not b. Why? Oh yeah, b. Okay, yeah, that's fine still because there's one called B, but you get the point. Um, so you want to not if you make a sub, if you make a variable that's local, you don't want to make it the same as something that's global. But you can make a variable with the same name as something that's got the same name as in here. So I can make a variable called A in here, and also make a variable called A in here, and they're independent from each other. So yeah, well not A because A and B are really look global, but if you put C then that would be fine. So now I'm going to use a real world situation, well a practical situation. So say get info here. I'll make a sub called get info. I'm going to delete all this um, and, and call get info. Like that. 
so it's going to call this sub get info. So in here I'm going to put console dot write um, enter uh, value for a. Then say a is equal to console dot readline. Now what a procedure does is this is not a very good definition at all, but it does stuff. So remember that because a function is different. Um, so that's why I've said that. So here you can see get info. Now if I put a little breakpoint here, then we'll see when I type a is equal to five, b is equal to seven. It will stop pause the program. If I, oh yep, if I put my hover over mouse over here, it's a equal to five and b is equal to seven. So it's stored in. Um, so now I'm going to be using a. I'll keep this open actually. Um, a function. Now, what a function does, it does stuff like a sub, but it also returns a value. You can choose to to use the value it returns or not. So you can like this. This is a function. At the minute, I'm not using what it returns. But if I say a is equal to, then I am using what it returns. Similar thing with a function, because this is a function. If you hover over it, you can say it shows. Um, you see that message box thing. It says public shared function. Anyway, so and it also says as string. I'll show you that later. Um, so if I say function, I'll call it add. Um, I press enter. Then in here I'll say dim c as integer. I'm not using a because it's out there um, global. So I'll c as integer, and I spit long-winded what I'm doing, but I say a plus b. Then return um, c. So what this does, it makes a variable here, it adds it, and then it will return the value of this. So then if I say add, this is going to be like this. It's going to return a value, but you're not storing it anywhere. So if I say dim, now I'm going to put c here because it's it's independent from this. Dim c as, in fact I won't do it to, to stop it from confusing you, but integer, it would be fine though. Uh, then that works. So actually, I'm not using it. Using it. So let me do console dot write line d. So if I say three plus five, it does eight. So yeah, you can see how that works. But if I was to just um, do this, then it's not going to do anything. Say five plus six, it's returning a value but it's not getting stored anywhere. Um, another way of doing it is just drag this straight into here. That's a nice and neat way. Also a neat way of doing this is um, getting rid of this variable. I'm making it a bit over complicated to be honest but a plus b like that. And you can see that's a lot simpler now but I'm just showing you that you can make variables within the sub. So what you can do also, you can say console dot right line. Um, you can say message again. This does stuff like a sub, um, so you can actually do stuff in it. This is confusing, um, you know. So this does exactly the same as a sub, but it returns a value. That's the extra feature. I can also specify a type, so as integer. So if this was, a, if this ended up being a decimal value, it will round it to an integer. But it's nice just to see. You can just hover over it. It says as an integer. Um, or, or when you like doing it, you say this says as integer. You know. Um, so finally, another thing you can do instead of saying return you can say add and this is usually used in exams but most people do return so this is kind of a value you know it's a uh, it's a variable kind of ish <laughs> um, so you can return a value so you can say equal to something so that's what return does it says it sets this equal to something um, so I think that's pretty much it